There now follows a party election broadcast by the Conservative Party. London is the city I spend most of my working life in. It's a city I love, but for too many Londoners, the quality of our lives is not improving. And that's why I think it's time to apply fresh thinking and creativity and energy to the problems that really concern Londoners. And that's why, last September, I launched my bid to become Mayor of London. London is the economic powerhouse, not just of the South East, but the whole of the UK. It produces about 16 or 17 percent of the GDP. And that money is not just coming from the big industries, but above all from the 76 percent of London industries which have fewer than five people working for them. Small concerns like this restaurant here. I want to create the conditions that allow those businesses to thrive and to keep our high streets and our communities flourishing. I've been across London from Zone 1 to Zone 6. I've been to every one of the 32 boroughs and I've talked across London to people from every background, every community, who agree that the number one issue for them is crime and disorder and the fear of crime and their feeling of anger that not enough is being done to protect them, especially in the areas for which the Mayor is directly responsible. I want to make one final point which is relevant to this area. And there it is, you can hear it. I will not support, in fact, I will oppose a third runway. I'm a bus driver, so I'm hey, well, listen, you're fantastic. Uh, you don't tell no lies. That's what I like about you. I'm a politician who don't tell. That's the lies, so that's the policy. Yeah, that's the approach. Thank you very much. It makes me really angry when I meet child after child who says they've either been mugged on the bus or shortly after getting off it. And that's why I think it's vital to put more uniformed police on the buses, drive out this so-called minor crime and disorder. Because it's if we crack down on minor crime and disorder that we can make a real difference to the serious crimes that also afflicts our city. I think it's time to recriminalize crime. J'espère. Uh, J'espère. On va voir. What I mean by recriminalizing crime is taking your experience of crime seriously and not endlessly downgrading things that happen, uh, assaults, thefts of mobile phones, and turning, just calling it antisocial behavior. This is crime. My trips around London have taught me what really matters to people. The nightmare of the school run, protecting our green spaces, improving recycling, and their view of us modern day politicians. One of the problems we all face is that people are so disillusioned about politics. And with Parliament now trying to clean up its act, I want to go a step further by putting every penny I spend as your mayor online available for you to consult on my website. One thing that really annoys me is people saying that I'm going to cancel the Freedom Pass. It's just not true. Under my mayoralty, the Freedom Pass will be guaranteed round the clock on all modes of transport. When I look at London, I don't just see the greatest financial and cultural centre on earth. I also see a place that's fantastically open and tolerant and cosmopolitan, an example to the rest of the planet. But I believe London can be greater still. And when I become mayor, it will be safer, more openly administrated, it will be cleaner and easier to move around in. In order to make that change, it's vital that you vote for me, Boris Johnson, as mayor and for the Conservatives for the GLA on May the 1st. That was a party election broadcast by the Conservative Party.